Hey, Dave LeCount with Head Games Motorworks. Today we're going to talk about the road to CNC with this 2JZ. Now it's going to be a couple part series just like the last ones we've done. And be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'd love to hear from whatever you want to see about this project. But for the meantime, let's start this. First thing to take notice is that all of the ports on the intake and exhaust on any 2J head are just really not the same. There's only slight differences on the intake side. So basically it's just an angle that the port is on. So this is on a different angle than this angle because this is more straight and this is more angled. But are we gonna change that? No, we're not gonna change that. We are just going to contour the port and have to port three of them in order to digitize it. Same scenario on the exhaust side. So this exhaust port is facing this direction, you'll see. And then if we move over here this exhaust port is kind of straight and then if we move over here this exhaust port is facing this angle and that is for all the guys who get their panties all up in the bunch and they say well you need a flow bench you need to equalize all my ports they're not like that from the factory what makes you think that you are the next coming of Jesus and gonna make that happen it just doesn't happen the combustion chamber you'll see that it has little quench pads that are recessed I like that a little less detonation, and we're gonna lay all this back. This is gonna be a cool head. We did a video a while back on 2JZ core differences. And in that video, you'll see that I actually prefer the GE head over the GTE because the exhaust ports are round. They're much straighter than the GTE, and the intake ports are raised an inch and a half. There's also only 10 CFM difference between the intake port on the GE versus the GTE. The GTE is better on the intake side, but then the GE head is actually 10 CFM better on the exhaust side. So all things being equal, we like to raise the roof on any head and that's what the GE offers. We're just gonna make it better. To start this process, I'm gonna use the Makita GD0603 electric grinder with a Goodson speed controller and the head games. Super spiral. 5A spur. Take a good look at that port because it's about to change. All right, let me show you what I did here. So I came in here and basically just made a trench here and here. Notice that I did not touch the outside edge. And then I kind of blended it in, but we're not there yet. I'm not done with the shape. I'll probably finish this shape uh, with a smaller burr, so I'm gonna use our half inch burr, but I got it so it's at least started. Now you guys have seen other videos, you know I'm totally against the whole gasket matching thing. And uh, this is just to give you a little visual. The reason why I'm not using the gasket is because the head is already at the gasket. All right, so now we're gonna flip, we flip the head over and I'm gonna do the fin on the, uh, on the roof. And I switched it over to the Head Games half inch super spiral burr to do this because there's just not enough room to use the big uh, three quarter. So what you've seen here is I made a trench here, I made a trench here, and that made this fin. So you look here, look at this next port here. Look, look at this stock one, see how it's almost there, but you have to get this material all the way to make this fin. And fins make for good airspeed. That's not anything there for anything else but airspeed. The other thing you should take notice to, well, you probably can't see it is the walls. Now the walls on this port, although they look round, when you go in here, they're usually flat. And so I made them round again 
And now we're ready to do the short turns. All right, I told a little lie because we're actually gonna do the bolts first because once I flipped it over, I seen there is a freaking mess here. When you look inside here, here's a part that's machined and then there's a lot to be desired blending into that. Now we measured this area here and we are 86% of the size of the valve, which is a good starting point. So we're gonna take this and blend it all into right underneath the seat. Switching back to the Head Games half inch super spiral burr, and we're gonna do the short turns. Now, all that material is removed. Check out what I did here. You can see the short turn has this big, big ledge here that's not a turn. There's a lot of meat right here, a lot of meat in the corners here. And I basically removed all that and blended it all in and changed the shape, changed the size. And now you have the roughed import. See the roughed import, I poured it right here, blended the short turns. It's important that you start your short turns from back here and bring them in. You don't want to blend here and then what you do is you make a ledge on the top here. Uh, so this thing barely has a turn. It's called a tumble port for a good reason. It tumbles in here, but this is what you got. That's a whole nother video, but we, um, so now this is all roughed in, let's do the exhaust. So you can see in this port, I'm going to remove these guide bosses because we're just going to run a full length guide. We don't really need these. And then I'm not really going to change the shape so much as I'm just going to make it bigger. It's already round. I love the round port. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and uh, shape up the divider. You'll see. One thing should be mentioned about this burr, we call this the honey badger for good reason because it just rips metal out wherever you're trying to take metal out of and it does so very, very quickly. The other thing is it will pelt metal at anybody who is standing near you within probably a three to four foot radius. Just ask Toby who's trying to tape this whole thing. What you'll notice is it looks messy. Well, that's change because you know, change is messy in the middle. But what's gonna happen here is that it's all roughed in and we can go on the other sides of the port. We're gonna blend it all in and then we'll go back over it and actually make it look good. All right, so now we're gonna measure the exhaust side and we are 981. So I would say we're about the same. We're about 86% uh on the throat to the size of the valve if you guys are ever looking for lube i suggest bow lube they are not a paid subscriber to us uh they, i wish they you know maybe they will say hey boeing check us out but anyway this is a good candle looking uh lube you put your grinder in there and then it's all good to go
still just roughing this in. You see this part right here, and you see how it's not ground? And that's because this and this is higher than this. You do not need to take this out just yet. Will it get taken out? Probably, but not in the beginning stages. The exhaust short turn is definitely less to be desired. It's actually not a turn. You can see here, this is more like a ridge or a cliff. And what we're gonna do is make this round again. We went from this mess here to nice turns. Nicey nice. All right, now it's all roughed in. What I'm gonna do is turn the RPM down and I'm gonna take our half inch super spiral burr and I'm going to go back over it and smooth everything out. I'm gonna put it on the flow bench, see where we got. And uh, then I would just rough the, rough the other two ports in and flow those and it's ready for digitizing. I wanted you guys to take notice of how rough this port is from just using the super spiral. Now that honey badger takes meat out very quickly, but it doesn't do it very nicely uh, in terms of being able to just sand it afterward. So what I do is I turn the speed down and I use our half inch super spiral burr and I do it at a very low speed, and then I blend everything in. And you actually watch the color change. All right, now we went back over it with a half inch. As you can see, it is now a sandable surface finish. Now I got to finish the roof, but the floor is done. The walls are pretty much done. And I think it should be noted that the circle is the hardest shape to make. Now from the factory, this is actually not round. The head's actually only round at the entrance and it's not round inside the port. So what I did was I left the OD the same and I went in and made this more of a circle and that's where I got our volume from and I put a fin in it. So I'm not really taking a lot of material out uh, per se at the entrance. A lot of people would gasket match that, but it's uh, there's really nothing out here to gain. Everything is inside. I also want to mention that when you've seen me use this burr, part of the reason why I use this burr for a circle is because it is kind of a circle. All right, so now I'm ready to sand it and I'm gonna do short turns first. Let me show you what I do. So normal people I think would think to use a cartridge roll here and you would just sand it um, and it's a turn. So this is a round surface into the valve seat. The problem with using a cartridge roll is that it will make the top here square because this is square. What do you do? This is prop rods, quarter inch prop rod I got from Home Depot and I put a slit in it and I used uh, a grinder and I just, with a stone and I made it round. And this I get from, it's a handy roll. You can get it from MSC 60 grit. You stick it in there and now you roll it up. It's kind of like a cartridge roll, but it's soft and it'll move around and it won't create a lump on the top of your short turn. Smooth as a baby's bottom. And it's important to remember that the short turn is two-sided. So you don't want to use a cartridge roll on the port side because it'll do the same thing. So what we're talking about is making it a sharp edge at the very tip. So you do it from this side and the other side with a flapper. Now that we did the short turns, it's time to do the runners. And we're gonna use this bad dude. So this is a three quarter by one and a half by a quarter because that's a quarter inch shaft on the Clico grinder. And I'm gonna go in there with this. Now I'm using such a big cartridge roll. This is just to rough it out 
it's kind of the same scenario as the big burr is by using something so big we now i'm trying to get it in there but it has the radius already in it so what you're going to do is you're going to keep that radius and if you use something small if you use a smaller roll then you're going to be fighting you're going to have bumps you're not going to have a complete circle and this helps you get a complete circle and i'm done this is the intake side intake side is ready for guides and then we're going to do some flow testing we're going to valve job it and flow test and then knock the guides out and it gets digitized on the exhaust side and we had to do three ports because they're all different and uh, put a light on that one we got fins and we are ready to flow now i don't want you guys to be disappointed that we didn't show everything i apologize it was just a lot to do and i was doing a lot of videoing myself but just so you know on the intake side we finished it with a 60 grit the exhaust side was finished with a 120 grit it doesn't really matter surface finish when you're trying to do a CNC port because the CNC doesn't know what it looks like, right? But, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just that guy. So we, we finished sanding it. Now it's ready to put guides in it. We're going to flow it a bunch of times. I'm not sure how much we're going to show of that, but because the thing has to leave, we're trying to make World Cup with this. And uh, that's it. All right, that's it for us today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I love to hear from you. I'm always in the comments. Toodles.